Okay, guys. Since I started that thing up with the uh, with the remote uh, control uh, monitored thermometer uh, uh, pig rotisserie, I figured I'd just go ahead and do a review on the uh, Maverick Ready Check. Uh, it's the model ET73. Comes in a box. Looks a, a lot like that. So uh, Cabela's was the place that I found it local. Anyway, uh, fifty dollars. Very well worth it. There's there's some some issues that I don't care too much for on it, but overall, I mean, it's, you know, for something that monitors both the, the meat temperature and the grill temperature, I mean, it's, you know, it looks like it's just, you know, works wonders. I wish they'd make some changes. One thing it'd be nice for them to make a change of, well, for one thing, okay, you got your meat probe, and they tell you which one it is and everything, but they don't mark it, so whenever that, um, whenever that you're uh, doing what I'm doing, which is running it through that tube first, um, it's not marked when it comes out the end and both ends are identical looking so I put one for, uh, that says F for food and one says S for smoker that's because it's the way that it's labeled on the back of this guy right here anyway uh, whenever that you go and you put like I say this one is the food and if you watch this guy over here in a minute it ought to kick in and yep it's picked up the it's picked up the temperature now okay 67 degrees and and it'll bounce back and forth when you're watching the transmitter it'll bounce back and forth between the the temperature of the uh, of the meat and the temperature of the, of the grill itself off of that there why it's not bounced just now I'm not 100% sure but anyway um, the real pain in the butt I believe is with no this one right here is real easy actually you got to be these uh, switches are, are pretty uh, they're real tiny and they, they seem a little cheesy uh, the on off switch and everything this one right here is now this is something that is just really flipping odd I ain't figured out why they did this uh, you can't get well that's one reason that thing went happy okay now it should be bouncing back and forth between those two numbers yep why one's one degree higher than the other? I don't know. I think it's a fluke. Anyways, you got to take that little thing there that kind of looks like a little bit like a screw, but it's not. Pop that thing right there off, and then you got the on-off switch in here, and then you've got a, tr a reset uh, switch for transmit and everything. But until you actually, and this thing right here can get away from you, it just kind of flips around out there like that. Yeah. Anyway, uh, when you're outside, you don't want that to happen to you. Anyway. It's kind of an odd mechanism, like I said, um, and especially if once you get these little the little pieces snapped onto them, the little clips, uh, like this one right here, that clip for uh, for that guy, that's where you can like put it on your belt or whatever when you're, you know, and and it'll also like flip back. But uh, actually, there's a spring clip, I believe it's uh, around here somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Uh, this right here just happens to clip, and it's made to clip on a on the grate of a grill, just kind of snapped in between there. It just happens to snap onto that electrical conduit real easily, so I use it like that. Overall, these things are are pretty impressive. I've checked them against a uh, a regular meat thermometer, and uh, and they're you know either both that meat thermometer and these guys here are wrong, or both of them are right. I have a tendency to think they're both right. Um, Anyway, pretty pretty slick. I highly recommend it. I mean, fifty fifty dollars, and you're not having to uh, babysit it. That and that doesn't mean that you can just uh, take it for granted that it's working. Oh, and one thing's for sure is they come with some cheesy um, uh, batteries. Uh, go ahead and get some uh, you know some good quality uh, alkalines. There's just you know if you're if you're going to this much trouble, there ain't no need to to throw in a cheesy uh, set of batteries into it. So anyway, uh, out of a scale of, of you know one to one to five, I give it a four, and it's mainly just because of the uh, just because of like the switch location. Um, I wish they made the uh, I wish they made the probe leads a little longer, but that's mainly because of my uh, particular setup, which I know they didn't design this to be used in a rotisserie. Um, now I have, did find out though that when you look through their uh, uh, through their uh, directions that come with it. It's got a uh, website that you can go to and you can order more heavy duty probes. I want to say they're about like $12, $15 or something like that a piece, whatever, that come with like six foot leads. 
not really sure that's worth it. I'm, for one thing's for certain is I'm going to test everything out, make sure that uh, that this pig roast that I got coming up, that all that this does what I, what I want it to do, and if it does that and everything, I'll go ahead and, and definitely go for the uh, uh, for the up, upgraded uh, uh, probes. That'll give me a little bit more length to work with. I don't know how important that's going to be right now, but uh, we'll find out in about a week.